The purpose of this demonstration video is to highlight the main features of Arjo's MaxiMove Passive Lift. Our premium floor lift enables a single caregiver to manage demanding everyday patient and resident transfer and repositioning tasks. MaxiMove is a multifunction lifting device, a versatile solution that can be adapted using a variety of spreader bars to accommodate diverse patient transfer and mobility needs. Arjo's MaxiMove is suitable for use in acute and long-term care for patients and residents with a mobility level of Doris or Emma, weighing up to 227 kilos, 500 pounds. Opening and closing the chassis legs. Push the legs open button on the control handset or control panel until the required width for the chassis legs is reached. To close, press the legs closed button. Movement will stop if the button is released, whether opening or closing. Only move the maxi move when the chassis legs are in the closed position. Spreader bars for maxi move. The maxi move has been designed with multiple attachments to meet different patient transfer and repositioning needs, including various spreader bars and stretcher frames. To install spreader bar or stretcher frame, hold the attachment securely. With the locking clip thumb pads facing you, allow the recess in the attachment to fit around the T-bar shaft. Ensure the attachment drops down over the T-bar and that the locking clip engages fully. Arjo has added a smile to show that the spreader bar has been attached correctly. To remove a spreader bar or stretcher frame, hold carefully and depress the locking clip thumb pads to release it from the T-bar. Then, still pressing on the locking clip, lift the attachment upwards and away from the T-bar. The optional spreader bars available to use with the MaxiMove include PDPS, Powered Dynamic Positioning System, for use with Arjo's patented clip system, two-point hook spreader bar, four-point hook spreader bar, stretcher frame for use with loop slings. To transfer a patient using PDPS, ensure the positioning handle on the spreader bar is facing away from the patient and that the open part of the spreader bar is at or just below your patient's shoulder level. Ensure that the maxi move is close enough to be able to attach the sling's shoulder clips to the spreader bar. Do not apply the chassis brakes at this stage, as the position of the patient will adjust to the center of gravity of the lift while the patient is being raised. Once the maxi move is in position, attach the shoulder strap attachment clips to the sling attachment lugs on the spreader bar. and attach the leg strap attachment clips. Lift the patient using the handset control. Move the lift away from the chair. The angle of recline can be adjusted for more comfort. Press the image of the laying person to recline the PDPS. When lowering the patient back down, use the hand control to put the patient into a position that aligns with their destination. This minimizes lifting strain for the caregiver and ensures comfort for the patient or resident. Using a two-point loop spreader bar or a four-point loop spreader bar. If your MaxiMove has a loop spreader bar, ensure that the spreader bar is rotated into position before attaching the sling. When attaching a loop sling to the loop spreader bar, always ensure that the sling attachment loops are installed correctly into the retaining hooks. Use Arjo loop slings with the loop spreader bar. Your lift is equipped with an audible warning device, which will make a noise when the battery discharge indicator on the handset displays a low battery icon. To remove a discharged battery pack, push the red button and pull straight out towards you. Replace the pack with a fully charged one from the wall-mounted charging unit. To ensure that the MaxiMove is always ready for use, it's recommended that a fully charged battery pack always be on hand. Do this by having additional battery packs available and keeping one charging while the other is in use.